Well, well, well. Somebody don't want no static. Somebody don't want no smoke. Now, I already know who was down for the fight. Oh, I know who was down. And somebody else was talking big like they was down too. But somebody is afraid. Guess who? Stay tuned. The coach is going to fill you in. Hey, this is Sarge Eubanks, and you're listening to Coach Sheldon Harrison. Hey, man. Beautiful. Hey. Don't explain this. Get what you think, cause this is my channel. Forget about your feelings, cause the truth is hard to handle. Dick, 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 dock. Popcorn, popcorn, pop, tart, fart. Leave a racist comment and you will get blocked. Coach Shelton Harrison, there never be no comparison. You're live on the show, sit back and have a listen. And that's just the way that is. Way that is. All right, all right, LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, uh, you know, uh, chopped it up. Uh, Coach Thornton kind of sent me uh, sent me some bad news. Good news for Jamie, but bad news for Angela Magana. And, um, you know, Coach Thornton, you know, I found out that Angela Magana does not want to fight. <laughs> she don't want to fight Jamie Thornton. Uh, how could I be surprised at this? Can I be surprised? I mean, okay, so Angela Magana, I don't even think Angela is actually afraid. I think Angela know that she would probably lose this fight too. Um, Angela, you know, is one of those people that she thinks that, you know, excuse my language, y'all, but her shit don't stink. She thinks she's too good. And, you know, she thinks that she's too good to fight in a lower organization because she would probably get beat in that lower organization. So Angela, you know, of course she worries about her reputation and this, and instead of just taking a fight, you know, instead of just going in and taking a fight with, uh, you know, Jamie Thornton, nah, she don't want to do that. She don't want that work. And, you know, part of it, Coach Thornton, he was very honest. You know, I like Coach Thornton. He's an honest man. And he said part of it probably was some of the pay, too. I don't think Angela would have liked to pay, but, you know, here's my thing. Angela, uh, your name is crap. Angela McGuire's name is crap right now. You know, uh, the UFC not dealing with you. And you're not going to make UFC money, you know, no, because you've been, you, you got like, what, you got 10 losses, like eight, eight or nine of them in a row, you, I mean, no, you stinking up the place, okay? Now, I see why Coach Thornton wanted this fight. I know exactly why he wanted this fight, and I saw the geniusness behind this whole thing. I saw it. He wanted this fight because he knows that Angela Magana can sell a fight, and she will make a big deal out of it. You know, Jamie, Jamie is a good fighter, but Jamie don't have, like, she don't have the microphone skills. Like, she don't have those mic skills. All Jamie know how to do is just fight. Angela Magana, she got mic skills. So Angela will do the work that Jamie can't do on the mic. She'll sell a fight. And that's what Coach Thornton, I'm pretty sure, that he was banking on. Like, hey, this, this, this will be a good fight, you know? Angela going to run her mouth. Jamie, gonna play the, uh, Jamie is going to play the good person. And uh, Angela's going to play the villain. You know, and, it, and it, that sells a fight. Good person versus bad person, you know? It was a, it was a really it was a brilliant scheme for Coach Thornton to call out Angela Magana, but now you know Angela Alien Alienation Head Magana got to take the fight, you know. And I kind of sat back and I said, you know what, Footprint Face, Footprint Face is not going to take this fight. I, <laughs> you know, if she would, I, I'd be ecstatic about it, because you know that they would probably have to put it on. They had to put their televisor somewhere, because Angela is going to sell the fight. Jamie's going to be calm and cool. And we know how it works, you know. Jamie's going to be very, very calm and cool. And she's going to just say, you know, I'm going to just come in. You know how Jamie talks. She's real sweet. I'm just going to come in and I'm going to do what I got to do. And I'm going to go home with the victory. That's Jamie Thornton. That's what she's going to say. You know, she ain't going to say, hey, I'm going to get in there and whoop her ass. No, I'm going to just do what I got to do. And I'm going to come home with the victory. That's Jamie Thornton. That's what's going to happen. You know, and... I'm kind of like upset for Jamie because I know that this is a fight that they definitely both of them wanted. You know, but Jamie, I think, wanted this fight more than Angela did. And I even think, you know, <laughs> Jamie probably would have would have took a little pay for this fight because the benefits weigh out in the end, you know, it weigh out. But, you know, I, I don't know. See, this, it, it's a good fight because, you know, Angela Magana, you know, <laughs> I think people, you know, Angela got too caught up in herself. You know, she got too caught up in you know, putting her butt everywhere and showing the dimples in her ass. I think Andrew Magana got caught up in that. And Jamie Thornton, you know, let's let's be honest, you know, she's not getting younger. She's 32. And she's not, you know, she's not 25. So Jamie have to take these opportunities now. You know, it's like, um, 
he would say, well, man, why is she fighting Andrew KGB Lee? You know, she not this. Well, you know, Jamie is still, she really young in her MMA career. She hasn't been fighting very long. So she hadn't had the experiences. You know, Jamie put up a good fight. She put up a great fight against KGB Lee and Sabina Mazo, and she was winning against Mazo. I thought she was winning against Mazo until she got caught, you know, and it happens. It's, it's MMA. But Jamie ain't had those experiences, and, you know, Jamie's getting better. She's on a two-fight win streak, man. She's on a two-fight win streak, and one 115 pounds is definitely Jamie Thornton's weight. That's, that's where she need to be fighting at, okay? She need to be fighting at that weight. She's very dominant at that weight, and I would love to see her come back and actually, you know, fight some of the upper caliber opponents now at 115 because I, I know she would go in there and win i know she would win the majority of the fight she in you know and i think in two or three years i think jamie will be in her prime as far as fighting goes because see one thing too the thornton they take good care of their bodies man they eat right they know how to eat right so you know coach thornton said what he 41 dude don't even look like he 41 man gotta look like he's still in his damn 30s you know um, but they eat right, so it's no surprise that Jamie, now at 32, is, you know, she operating, you know, she's operating like a 25-year-old, that's how she moves, so, you know, I hope that this fight, they can figure out something, you know, I hope that, you know, somebody or something, they can figure out a deal to get Andrew Magalhaen to take this fight, and, uh, you know, have her in there with Jamie Thornton, it'll be a good fight, it'll be a good fight until, you know, Jamie choke her out, because I think Jamie beats her. I think Jamie Vita, like Angel Magana, she don't throw enough, you know. She she's very now Angel Magana. One thing about her, she's very accurate, and her leg kicks are very good. You know, Magana's got a really vicious leg kick, and I've seen those leg kicks work against a lot of opponents. But Angel Magana, she picks spots like she don't like Angela don't throw combinations, and that's what Jamie will throw combinations. She'll throw a lot of them. But anyway, guys, you know I don't know. Let's hope and pray that Andrew Magana can maybe they can find a way to get Andrew Magana into the octagon and see what happens. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.